So today we are going to get a look at the Black Series Gaming Greats Heavy Battle Droid from the Battlefront 2 video game as well as the Jedi Knight Revan from the Galaxy of Heroes video game guys. So we're going to get a look at these two gaming greats special edition black series figures in the six inch line guys so let's go ahead and get a look at both of these figures guys so of course as always we're going to start off with the boxes so let's get a look at the two perspective boxes on our figures here guys so starting with your heavy battle droid from the battlefront 2 game guys uh he comes in his brownish color guys uh, a lot different from the off white or cream color that we normally get these particular figures in. And then obviously in the window, you can see that he has a special array of weapons and accessories that come with this figure. That, so we're gonna get a quick look at all of those. And then of course you have an illustration of your figure in the right hand corner, heavy battle droid, your warning label, Battlefront 2 logo, just under the illustration of the figure, Hasbro logo to the right of that. You have your gaming logo uh, just at the top right side of your window. You can see your figure. And then of course you have your Star Wars Black Series logo at the top of the box. And then of course for our Revan, uh, same thing here. We have our figure in the window with his lightsaber front and center. We have Jedi Knight Revan just below that. In the amethyst color, uh, we have our warning label galaxy of heroes logo just over the illustration of revan in the right hand corner hasbro logo our gaming great logo just at the top right side of the window where we can see our figure and then again we have our black series star wars logo at the top of the box really cool stuff guys let's get a look at the side of the boxes so getting you a look at the side of our perspective boxes here again starting with our heavy battle droid uh, we have the uh, brownish color that our figure comes in on the side of the box we have our gaming greats logo just at the top of that and then just under that we have the name of our heavy battle droid and then of course there is no numbering for these figures because they were exclusives to GameStop here in the United States and then for our Jedi Knight Revan same deal we have our gaming logo just above the name of Jedi Knight Revan and then just underneath that uh, again no numbering due to the fact that it is a GameStop exclusive here in the United States. And then again, we have the amethyst or purple color that represents the lightsaber color of Revan's blade. So really, really cool stuff there, guys. Let's get a look at the back of both of our boxes here. So on the back of our perspective boxes here, again, starting with the heavy battle droid, we have an illustration of the heavy battle droid. We also have a little description of our droid here, which goes on to state, Star Wars Battlefront 2 features heavy battle droids modified B1 battle droids armed with heavy blaster rifles and shield emitters to deflect most incoming enemy fire. So really cool description of our heavy battle droid there. And then for our description on the Jedi Knight Revan, the journey from the Sith to Jedi is complete in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As redeemed Jedi Knight Revan wields his purple lightsaber while cloaked in white Jedi robes. So again, a very cool description of our Jedi Knight Revan on the back of the box. So. Really cool stuff there, guys. And then for the other side of our boxes, 
we have the name of our perspective characters here again starting with the heavy battle droid we have heavy battle droid and then heavy battle droid shaded in the background and then for our jedi knight revan we have jedi knight revan in the purple with revan shaded in the background so really cool stuff so back around to the front so guys we're going to open both of these boxes up get a look at our figures get a look at all of the detail on each one of our figures we'll also get a look at the accessories and articulation with our perspective figures here guys so stay so tuned we have our figures out of the box and they look really really good out of the box guys we have our heavy battle droid with our revan figure here guys so they're looking really good out of the box guys but let's get you a closer look starting with our heavy battle droid so we have our heavy battle droid here looking really good he has his heavy artillery gun and he comes in his rust brown color with the bits of gray in between there which is really cool really nice he comes pretty well weathered as well as you guys can see there that's really cool comes complete with his backpack which is also weathered so that is really awesome the uh, antennas here are articulated they do come out it comes with uh, quite a few accessories we've already seen the heavy artillery gun uh, this would be his blaster, his normal blaster. He's looking really good all the way around. Some weathering there underneath the mouth. And then you also have some weathering there on the chest. So really good stuff there. Very, very nice job with this particular figure. And we will get a comparison to the uh, earlier release of the uh, B1. Battle Droid, we'll compare this guy to that one, but he's basically the same uh, with maybe a couple of very slight improvements. So one of the first things I notice is with the, what I'm calling antennas that go on the back of the droid's head here, which are articulated just as the previous release of the B1. So they do move up and down, but on the previous release of the B1, uh, that particular antenna right there would fall off a lot uh, very easily. I have not had that problem with this particular figure, so they may have improved upon on that. So that's cool. If you remove the uh, side gun that connects to the back of the backpack, which is another cool feature, guys, as you guys can see, and I'm going to pull it off right there. So you pull that off. So with your articulation on your heavy battle droid, he's gonna give you a straight out like so. He's gonna give you an elbow bend that goes back about that far. Uh, you do have a 360 spin for the arm. So you have that going for you. There is a twist in the wrist. You also have a twist and the upper shoulder. So the upper shoulder gives you a twist as well. Your heavy battle droid is gonna go out to the side in the arm area about that far. That is really good articulation there. In the leg area, he's gonna kick out for you like so. Really kicks very out high and very far. And then you get a knee bend that's that high, really good. Again, he can pretty much has no limit to how far up he can go. Then going back, he goes back about that far. So that's some really good articulation there with your battle droid. There is a side out hinge or uh, it does allow you to adjust the legs back and forth there. I don't know if you guys can see the movement in that joint, but there is decent movement there. So you can adjust the width of the legs. In the foot area, you're gonna get a down in the ankle, so that's really good. Up in the ankle, really good stuff there in the ankle. 
your twist for the legs would be in the in that same hinge there but it's not a lot but you do get a bit of a twist in the hinge there in the torso area your b your heavy battle droid is going to give you a downward motion as so back about that far your left to right twist it's not too far but you do have a decent right to left twist there. In the head area, you have several uh, articulated points. So in the uh, head area, he's gonna give you a very good right to left. So that's really good there. He goes up very far, as you guys can see, and he also goes down about that far. So that is really, really good. As you have seen already, there is articulation in the antenna, so it goes up about that far, comes down about that far. So giving you guys a look at the accessories, as I mentioned earlier, the antennas that come out of the backpack are uh, articulated. They do go down, slide down for you, and then of course you can pull them up. And uh, so you have articulation there with your antennas on the backpack. The backpack is removable. So the backpack is removable and that's what your droid looks like from the back with the backpack off. With the backpack removed, you can uh, add your commander droid antenna and this is what it looks like if you wanna have, the, have him without the backpack but just with the antenna. Then you would insert the antenna in one of the two slots that the backpack would also fit in. And so now you have it in its slot. And so now you can use your heavy battle droid without the uh, backpack and uh, use the uh, commander droid antenna. So that's a really cool additional accessory there. And then getting you guys a look at the heavy artillery, the heavy gun, it's really cool. Looks a lot like your first order heavy artillery gun. Uh, the gun does have one articulated piece, which is this lever here, moves back and forth. So that's really cool. Goes about that far, it might go all the way around. Yeah, it does go all the way around, I believe if you wish it to do so, but that is articulated. He also comes with a long range rifle. Really awesome. Of course, we've seen this rifle with several different characters. I believe a couple of the bounty hunters may come with this particular rifle as well. And then you have your standard B1 battle droid blaster. No additional paint apps. On here, just a uh, metal gun gray. So there is your heavy battle droid and his accessories. Really cool figure, guys. Very, very awesome. Guys, so now we are going to get you a look at the Jedi Knight Revan figure, guys. So let's get you a closer look at our Jedi Knight Revan figure. So getting you a look at our Jedi Knight Revan figure. Really, really awesome looking figure. Very awesome. You have his uh, hood. Very awesome. His tunic. Nice detail there on the belt. Really good looking figure there, guys. Absolutely awesome looking figure. And you have his chest plate, the detail there in his chest plate. The ring there. This is a plastic, but a very soft plastic that's flexible. This is all soft goods here. Um, this The uh, hood is also a plastic mold. Uh, as well. Um, and then of course all of this is plastic mode as well. Uh, but your uh, bottom half of the uh, tunic 
uh, is a soft good. So that is really, really cool stuff. And then of course you have his saber there as his only accessory. That is really cool stuff with the saber. And you guys are better look at it. And then a closer look at the face mask. So that's really awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and get a look at the articulation for our Jedi Knight Revan figure. So he's going to go straight out for you like so. He's going to give you an elbow bend that goes back about that far. The uh, molding of the shoulder right here uh, will only allow the arm to go up that far, unfortunately. And then, of course, you will not get that 360 rotation because of the uh, extended portion of the hood, uh, which goes over the shoulders. So your range of motion in the arm is going to probably only go up about that high uh, with the hood on. He can only go back about that far in the arm area uh, because, again, uh, the hood interferes with the uh, motion of the arm there. So... Uh, you do have that uh, limitation with the articulation in the arm. You have a twist at the wrist, so there is a twist at the wrist. You have a hinge in the wrist as well, so you can move the wrist up and down with the hinge. Really good stuff. It's going to go out to the side like so. So he has a good range going off to the side in the arm area. There's also a twist at the elbow as well just to get you guys a look at uh, what's underneath the skirt there. Uh, that's what our Jedi Knight Revan looks like underneath the skirt. So that's really cool. Uh, but in the leg area, he's gonna kick out for you about that far. So that is a really good kick out in the leg area. He's gonna give you a knee high bend that goes up about that far. So that is really good stuff in the uh, Rotation of the knee, he uh, goes back about that far, so that's really good. Your Revan figure is going to kick out to the side, so that is really awesome. Articulation going out to the side. In the ankle area, it's going to go down like so, so that is your motion. In the ankle area, going to go up like so, so you have your up motion in the ankle area. And then of course, you have your rocker as well. So there's your rocker in the ankle. Your twist is gonna be at the upper thigh. So you have a twist at the upper thigh. Really good stuff there. In the torso, he's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. It's a very decent range of motion in the torso area and then of course you have some very good right to left twist in the torso area very very good now in regards to the head area um, the hood itself because it is a plastic mold that goes over the shoulders uh, you can't obviously move the hood left to right uh, but the head itself on the inside does have uh, articulation I believe there's a ball joint in there uh, that allows you to turn the head to the right. And also turn it to the left. He can look down. So he goes down about that far. And then looking up, he goes up about that far as well. So. Uh, you do have very good articulation in the head and neck area, uh, but again, it's uh, adjustable by the head only, uh, not with the hood itself. The hood, uh, again, is a solid plastic mode uh, that uh, has no flexibility to allow you to turn it uh, right to left or back and forth. Um, it's all in the uh, head itself that needs to be adjusted when you're trying to get certain looking positions with this particular figure. So really cool stuff there, guys. Now, I do believe that the uh, hood is removable, um, but I'm not gonna remove the hood on my particular figure. I'm gonna leave him like he is. But I believe the uh, hood is removable and uh, you can place the uh, head back onto the uh, ball joint without the hood. 
uh, if you wish to have your uh, figure in that particular uh, look or mode. So uh, I believe that is possible, but again, I'm not gonna try that with my uh, figure here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that hood on. Uh, so really, really cool stuff and very awesome figure. An excellent articulation with your Revan six inch black series figure, guys. Really, really awesome looking figure. Very, very cool stuff there, guys. So to give you guys a comparison between the Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Revan figure and your heavy battle droid and your standard battle droid, uh, we're going to get a quick comparison between the four figures here. So let's go ahead and get a closer look and check out those slight differences between their perspective counterpart figure. So starting with your Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Revan figures, uh, obviously the first thing that uh, stands out is the fact that Darth Revan comes not only with his Sith blade, but he also gets to keep his Amethyst Purple Jedi Knight blade, which is really, really cool. Very awesome uh, with that original release of Darth Revan. So that is an awesome, uh, deal that you get an additional accessory and then of course your uh, Jedi Knight Revan only comes with the uh, purple lightsaber um, and then uh, for the other differences as you can see with your Darth Revan uh, his tunic and cape are tattered and weathered at the end I don't know if you guys can see that clearly but uh, clearly his uh, robe is tattered where here uh, he's nice and clean and all put together with no problems. And then, of course, the uh, chest plate as well uh, is different. The color scheme obviously is different. Getting you a look at the uh, mask. There are some differences in the mask as well. Uh, you get a little bit more red around the trimming of the uh, Revan, dark Revan figure. And then for your Jedi Knight version, there's not as much red in that mask. And then obviously the uh, color schemes are different. Uh, underneath the tunic, uh, he obviously has more of a chrome look to the uh, shoes and shin guards, uh, where uh, on our Jedi Knight version, uh, he has brown shin guards and uh, obviously a cream color uh, tunic that goes underneath. So. Uh, really cool stuff there, and uh, that would be the differences between your Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Revan figure. And then moving over to your battle droids, and obviously here, the uh, color scheme is your uh, biggest difference there. Uh, obviously, the weapons, uh, the amount of accessories would be another huge difference. You get the heavy artillery weapon uh, as well as the uh, rifle that's sitting there uh, for your heavy battle droid. And then your standard battle droid uh, obviously only comes with the one weapon. Uh, they both come with backpacks and they both come with the commander antenna that connects to the back, so you have those similarities there. Uh, both are really, really detailed with battle scars. So that's awesome. I also noticed that the antennas in the backpack for your heavy battle droid, it seem to extend out a little bit further than they do for your standard version of the B1 battle droid guide. Both battle droids feature the extended neck. So you have those similarities as well for your heavy battle droid and standard B1 battle droid figures, guys. Really, really awesome stuff there.
there it is guys your heavy battle droid figure and your jedi knight revan figure six inch black series very cool stuff here guys absolutely love both of these figures very cool guys let me know what your thoughts are in regards to these figures have you picked up the jedi knight revan figure have you picked up the heavy battle droid figure let me know what your thoughts are put those comments down below please like and subscribe and of course guys from the father to the son to the ob1 force ghost may the force be with you always